everybody so first of all I just want to thank you to my thousand subscriber and also the new subscriber are coming to my channel I'm so happy last night I woke up I saw I got 1,000 subscriber it is so happy and to celebrate this we are going to introduce you our new gift for our Valentine's Day which is just arrive do you guys know what it is there you go we are getting our what's that <laughs> dji mavic mini so angela got 1000 subscribers and for valentine's day we agreed that we would just buy ourselves a dj mavic mini because we've been wanting one for a while so we haven't flown it yet this is going to be the test flight so if this goes horribly wrong you guys are going to be here to <laughs> witness it with us and we found this spot on treasure island near san francisco where it said um, somebody in a post online said treasure island is a good spot for flying drones and it seems pretty quiet here we're right by some apartment building so hopefully nobody's gonna be upset by us flying a drone next to their apartments but seems pretty quiet not a whole lot going on here so i think we'll be okay all right so here's our dji mavic mini we already unboxed it sorry we didn't show the unboxing um, we got the fly more pack which comes with three batteries and they each last about 30 minutes so we can keep it up in the air uh, longer or send it up in the air more often this, this is already charged i charged this in advance so let's see how this works Gonna pull the first battery pack out. There's a battery bay on the back here. Push that up. I stole a um, memory card from a camera we had. It's a smaller one, 32 gigabytes, but we've got a larger one on order, so it should work for now. All right, so let's unfold it. Fold out these wings first. I am so impressed that which is so small. It's a very good and very convenient for us since we like to travel a lot. Also, we are light traveler would be great for us. Okay, so I think it's on. The lights are lit up. Press this button on the bottom, the lights light up. So that's a good sign. It seems to have power. So let's find a good Clovers, <laughs> mash them down a little bit. Make a good takeoff spot. Yeah. That should be good. I think. Okay. Except that I'm afraid these blades will hit the grass. Oh, um, we should have brought something flat so easy for it to, to land down, right? Yeah, maybe. Maybe I can have my jacket. For the first time, maybe yeah. you can take off my backpack. On your backpack. That should be to good. let land. Okay. I don't know where it'll land, but maybe I can grab it out of the air as it comes down. Okay. All right. Can we stop with my one now? Here's the okay. controller. I'll fold it up. So you unfold these pieces here. The phone's gonna go underneath. There's some sticks to control. The joysticks screw in. Pull those out, screw them in, and the antennas, we'll put those up somehow, which I think kind of stuck. Ah, there we go. Okay. They turn like that, and like that. That's good. So now let's get our phone. also an iPhone adapter and standard, uh, standard power plug for 
most devices these days. I'm going to use the USB-C, which goes in the side here. Put that inside. And then I'll probably take my phone out of its case. downloaded the DJ iMavic app. Let's open that up. Let's plug this in. USB-C goes in the back here. Wait, do you need to download any app to connect onto it before? Yeah, I already did that. There's a DJI oh. Mavic app. Okay. And it's already in the app, so it's giving me the sign to connect the app to the aircraft. So clamp that in there. Nice and tight. Alright. So, let's see. If I turn this on. Seems to have power. That's a good sign. Connect aircraft. <clears throat> Take out and install the control sticks. Did that. Short press the remote controller power button and then press and hold it again until the remote controller beeps to indicate it's powered on. Okay. Connect the mobile device to the remote controller using the RC cable. We did that. Open DJI Fly to handle. Always open DJI Fly. Okay. the front and rear aircraft arms, did that. Remove the gimbal protector, we did that. Yep, we did that. Slap the battery into the battery compartment, short press the aircraft power button, and then press and hold it again to power on. Okay. Oh, I hear the sound. Sounds like it's on. Yep. <coughs> Is it ready to, tr to fly? It's saying it's preparing to take off. Oh, but make sure you guys buckle in before we take off. All right, so it's giving you <laughs> an agreement to read the aerial Unmanned aerial system, blah, 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 all the good things. Let's go ahead and agree to it. Okay. Whether or not making us sign away our firstborn or anything. <laughs> Binding account. Information will be linked to your account as a basis for maintenance. Yes, let's do that. Aircraft activated. Okay. Aircraft ref resting wireless network settings to match local laws. Yeah, resetting. Yeah, as you guys can see, this is, yeah, we just take out this from the box. We haven't started anything yet. This yeah. is the first time that we can start right now. So we jump through most of this on the video, so you probably <laughs> see most of this, but just in case we decide to use it. Um, okay, so it's saying 39.55 megabytes. That's interesting. Okay, so it wants to update my app, which it's doing right now. It's downloading. I don't know if you can zoom in on the refresh here. So there it is, yes. We'll just keep filming wow. it, but we'll probably just speed it up on the camera. Okay. Oh, cool. I can 
see you on the camera. Hey, really? Yeah. <laughs> so we just did the calibration. Uh huh. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna set it on top I'm of the backpack. Ready to fly? Let's see if this will work. Takeoff permitted. Okay, should we try it? Already? <laughs> okay, maybe just try it for now, right? Go. Take off. Oh, there it is. Woo. <laughs> there you go. Maybe just test it like slow, moving back and forth a little bit first to see how it is. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Maybe just really close around. Okay, there it is. Huh. I like it uh, uh, with the sound. It's not too crazy noisy, which is good. Okay, get it down. Can you go around? There you go, huh? That's good. Okay, turn back. Come back. <laughs> Let's see on the screen. Yeah, so we can. Oh yeah, it's so. Yeah, it's hard to see it. because it's okay, so. Okay, there we are. Okay. All right now it's coming towards Not us. Really. Can you can you get the drone? Whoa. Yeah. Can you get both? Um, uh, trying to. Yeah. Okay. Then let's have it look down at us. Yeah. It's okay, hot. wait for the drone. <laughs> Flying over. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> there we are. All right. Yay! We are success! High five! High five! Ah! Yay! <laughs> that is good! Yeah? Welcome back! <laughs> Welcome back home! <laughs> Come back home! Come back home! Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> you cut the grass. There you go, our grass right back. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> it, cut, it cut the grass and got all the little grass stains on it now. <laughs> Not like that. Anyway, successful first first flight. It was awesome. High five for that. High five. Ah. And return to home works. It lands <laughs> itself. I kind of expected it to return back and just hover there until I told it to land, but that's fine. It lands itself. It's kind of cool. Yeah, we did not prepare for the landing this time. So it just landed on the grass and then it's a little bit dirty. It's better to have something to land on. Uh, I mean, to land on so your drone won't get dirty. <laughs> Good review for the Mavic Mini.
good drone. Yeah, um, actually, before uh, while we shopping for this, we kind of keep thinking about this one and the other one. Which one is it, baby? Uh, we're looking at the Mavic Air, but um, any drone over 250 grams has to be registered with the FAA and there's restrictions on where you can fly it. And so this one is just under 250 grams, so there's no restrictions um, and you don't have to have a registration number on it. So not that that matters all that much, but I think if somebody didn't like what you were doing with your drone or whatever, they could uh, get binoculars, read the number on it, and they could report you and maybe make trouble for you. But not on this one, right? They would have a hard time doing that. They'd have to know where you're flying from. They'd yeah. have to come talk to you directly. <laughs> and the good thing about this drone is, um, um, yeah, it's small, easier to carry. And then the other one that we were looking at is the better is um, the camera. It has a 4K camera and this one is a 2.7 or something. And we've been comparing between these two and then we we see nothing much different between these two. And then the price like almost half different. So since this is the first time, so we decided to take this one. And yeah, right now we feel we love it. Yeah, right? good so far. Yep. All right, guys. Check out the view of the bay later with us, okay? All right, see you. All right, our flight is success. We got a lot of good view. Okay, so we're gonna share with you guys with the view that we just got it from the drone later. Right now, we're doing a nice slow cinematic shot across the bay, so we'll show you that video. Uh, probably right after this clip. Yeah, we are so happy right now. So yeah, just enjoy with the new toys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, since this is the first time for us to fly this, so we don't want to let it go too far. We're just gonna just keep it around, yeah, to make sure everything going well. And yeah, later on we're gonna just get, let it to go further and then get more views to share with you guys. So make sure you guys give me a big thumbs up. And for whoever haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe for me. Please, your subscribe will really, really mean to me. And yeah, again, just like I said, I just got a thousand subscribers. I was just was so happy. And I'm hoping to get more subscribers. And especially, yeah, um, you guys support me to watch my video more. I would be appreciated with that too. All right, thank you guys. See you around with more view of the Bay Area. And this place is all called Trisho Island, which is a really good spot. Maybe a little bit later, we're gonna go to close to the Bay Bridge and we can capture the view of um, downtown San Francisco to share with you guys. All right.